How's it going? Ryan here. And today I'm going to go over the two trades I took on SPY. The first being a nice winner. The second being an attempt at a small scalp uh, that ended up hitting my stop loss. So a small loss on that one. Overall, nice green day for me. I'll jump into those trades and why I took them. Uh, but first we're on the daily time frame here looking at SPY, some of the levels that we're watching. We have this trend line, uh, this resistance on top. We have that daily trend line on the bottom. Nothing new to here. We've had those charted for a while. We have this gap charted. Um, we have this level 435, just an area of strong resistance and support. Um, we have some levels off the hourly time frame. We got this 440 up here. Uh, we also have this recent high from two days ago that we set 437.2. Um, all these levels in here kind of came into play today. We'll jump into the one hour and take a little bit closer look at some of those. So we got like 432, you can see how that's played out. 430, you can see as well. A lot of these are whole numbers. We like those whole numbers. Uh, 433.5, 434.15, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can kind of see how, they, how they're working out, especially in the past couple of days, uh, just the way that we're looking for these levels, just areas of price swing support resistance on an hourly or four hour time frame. So that's what we're looking for there. You can see yesterday we had a sell off rallied up into the after hours and pre-market continued up until we hit this resistance around 438. We'll take a look at the five minute, but we had CPI data come out this morning, came out a little hotter than expected. You can see how the market reacted, sold off pre-market, and then we started forming this descending wedge. That was one of the first things I charted this morning. Um, as we opened up and we kind of continued within this wedge, I charted that out looking for a break in either direction. First thing we got was a break to the downside and we also got a break below 436. 436 is a nice whole number. We like those. Also happens to be the bottom of that gap on the daily time frame. Um, so it's a big level on the daily time frame, nice whole psychological number. We got that break on the five minute and the retest on the five minute. This is where I entered my first trade. Um, so I'll pull up the two minute chart here. And you can see we broke below, we retested, I entered on this candle here. Um, we did come up and retest the bottom of this little wedge. I had a bit of drawdown here. Uh, I was trading same day expiration. So a bit of drawdown here, but I wasn't too concerned because we were retesting this little uh, pattern that we had broken out of felt that we were safe as long as we didn't continue and break up through that, which we did not. We got up above 436, but we rejected off that level. Uh, this candle immediately closing below 436 gave me the confidence to stay in the trade and not to worry about that. So it didn't get shaken out here. Um, target was 435, came down. I took two contracts on this candle here, sold the first one on this big move. We had a, a increase in volume and we had that nice red candle. Premiums moved really nice, so I secured one of my uh, contracts profit here. The next I secured, uh, took profits somewhere in here, around 435.1. I took it a little bit before we hit that level, just to make sure that I was going to, uh, going to get full profit on this. Um, sometimes I'll take it a few cents before the level, just because if you hold to the exact level, it might not always work out today, it happened to. Um, had I held a little bit longer, I could have squeezed out a little bit more profit, but overall really nice move um, in a short amount of time. So that was the first trade I took. The second trade that I took is after we found some support down at 435, we broke back up above 436 and we started to hold this level and form a bull flag above that level. So I took a call on the breakout here and I got stopped out here. Um, we found support right at 436 so price action wise this should not have stopped me out the reason why i did is i was playing a little bit more conservative having already had a winning trade on the day i didn't want to gamble any of that away um, i like this setup which is why i took it in the first place but i only traded one contract uh, and had a tight stop loss just because i was happy with the win that i had and i didn't want to be too greedy so this ended up stopping me out um you know probably shouldn't have uh, we did get that move up, so the little quick scalp that I was looking for kind of happened, but it immediately got erased. So would have had to secure profit pretty quick here, or else you would have got wiped out there. Um, overall, really small loss. This was a $7 loss. 
this was a $42 gain. So overall, $35 profit on the day. That's well within my uh, target. So that's great. The rest of the day, you can kind of see how it played out. Grinded up towards this 437.2 level where we rejected. We had this huge sell-off. There was a bond auction, which I had never even heard of until today. But apparently, the U.S. has auctions for its bonds. Nobody bid on the 30-year. Apparently, that's bearish. People don't think that that's a good sign. So the market reacted in the way that it did. That kind of sets us up for a really interesting day tomorrow. Um, we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow <laughs> plays out, how we get the Friday close to the week. After all this volatility that we've had this, this week, it's been pretty nuts. Um, those were the two trades that I took today. That's how it played out, kind of why I was looking at it. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for making it this far. If you want to stop by, I do trade live every Monday and fr Monday through Friday. Um, so stop by, say hi, say what's up. We also have a free Discord, small community of people who just trade and learn. We're at various skill sets, very various portfolio sizes. So anybody's welcome. Uh, if you're trying to learn and grow with trading, just leave a message on this video or send me a message on YouTube, and uh, I'll send you the link for that. That's all I have for you. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.